Bimal Mitra Academy, an organization in the name of well-known Indian author Bimal Mitra, presents here an audio play based on one of his popular stories. Following the great classical writers Rousseau, Tolstoy, Balzac, Dickens, the author has written great epics and novels representing about 300 years of Indian history in a very reader-friendly style with universal human appeals to make his literature extremely popular through translations in all the major Indian languages. The message of the story America, a popular story of author Bimal Mitra is this. This is a story of an American tourist. During his one day visit to the city of Calcutta, he faced such heartbreaking experiences that excited him to realize the abysmal depth of human suffering even among educated Indians. Indeed, a pathetic picture of Indian society rarely known to the people of America and of other developed countries. The story picturizes India after 13 years of her independence. So, the story starts with author Bimal Mitra. My acquaintances with Mr. Richard, an American tourist, was in the Calcutta Bombay flight. The flight took off from Damdam Airport at 6 o'clock in the evening. Mr. Richard was in my next seat. My seat number was 3C and his 3D. This was his first visit to India, the land of Gautam Buddha, Lord Chaitanya, Swami Vivekananda and of magnificent temples. He enjoyed many places of great India, the land of majestic Himalayas and of the sacred Ganges, the sadhus of Benares and the pandas of Mathura, the beggars of Brindavan and the Tangawalas of Delhi. He visited them all. In the end, he was at Calcutta, where he put up in an expensive hotel on the Chorungi. Presently he is on the flight back home, the United States of America. Did you like Calcutta? May I tell you Mr. Mitter? Sure. I am keen to hear Mr. Richard. Do I start at the very beginning? Sorry, I don't get you sir. Oh. It was only a day stopover in Calcutta. I stayed in a hotel. It's difficult to judge a place by a day stay. But it happened that very day. Hopefully you'll get a story. Though I haven't seen the end. Then please tell your experience from the very beginning. It happened on my first night in the city. Plane touched down at 4 in the afternoon. I checked into a reputed hotel. The hotel management and staff were courteous and attentive, down to the type of food I like. I spent the afternoon in the neighborhood. I went to the hog market and bought a few things there. I must say, Mr. Mitter, Bengalis are a funny people. Even after 13 years of freedom, he regards foreigners as God. Yes, sir. How can I help you, sir? Do you need some coffee? Coffee, please, for both of us. But then, what happened next, sir? Calcutta is a truly pleasant city. The second city of the former British Empire. In the west, you have a large green field in the heart of the city, the like of which I haven't seen anywhere. I saw the governor's house also. Do you know, your late Mahatma Gandhi once wanted governor's house to be made a national museum. But that did not happen after independence. Well, that's good. It's natural to relax after the long struggle of freedom. I was told the old system and rituals haven't changed. You've retained the guard of honor, the aide de camp, and many more legacies of the British regime. I was delighted to see them. But we have replaced General Outram's statue at the Park Street crossing by that of Mahatma Gandhi. That's very good. It's a reasonable replacement. Uh, believe me, I was delighted to see Calcutta. This visit has convinced me that the views on in India in both Miss Mayo's and Aldous Huxley's works are biased reports. 
They are reports of lies and vilifications. As I stood on the hotel terrace in the evening, I recall that the British East India Company had founded the city of Calcutta. But where are the British now? And where is Queen Victoria? Yes, Queen Victoria then glorified India. The Queen included India in her British Empire. India acknowledged that kind act of her in telegrams and respectfully addressed her as the mother. Yes, Mr. Mitter, but that same country is now free. Indeed, it is a matter of glory as much to India as that to Britain. But sir, where is the story? Yes, of course. After dinner, I sipped coffee as I browsed the tourist guidebook. Being very tired, I went to bed with the book. As I got drowsy, I couldn't respond to the knocks at the door. As more knocks came, I sat up and asked. Who? Who's that? I opened the door and found Hukum Ali, the room boy. Sir, I am your boy Hukum Ali. Kya mangta Hukum Ali? The sahib is here to see you sir. Good evening sir. Good evening. Good evening. Yes. What's the matter young man? I am Chakraborty, artist supplier. Artist? 